Masters, Jig. Big Big Basket. Uh, Jig. Right, let's take them. Hello everyone, we're watching now later on YouTube, hitting here along with... Nakir! And welcome to the 26th something Sunday. Which means, I, I, unless we missed one of these, we've been doing these for half a year now. Yeah, yeah I'm still sh shocked. I mean, uh, possibly soon also be part of this for soon half a year. <laughs> Uh, to, yeah, this, as usual, something Sunday where we try two to four games to see if there's anything for streaming later or just I want to show them off for some reason or another. And we're starting with Mabel and the Wood. I, I think this is a rather recent game. I think I actually bought it last week. But yeah, my memory is known to be typically bad. So, yeah. <laughs> let's give it its 30 minutes and then let's see. Awaken. Awaken. Arise. Arise. First bird of dawn. Carry us through the night. Awaken. Awaken. Okay. Dagger falling down. I'm sure that counts as falling. Oh. Is that a little girl? That is not a little girl. That is the bringer of dawn. Looks like a little girl to me. Well, um... But chosen for him, that is not. So you can change shape at will. I very much doubt that. Or oh, actually, we can press life mountain, and it's said it's said to advise a controller, but uh... no aim. Okay, okay. So <laughs> she can she, she she turns into a fairy. I thought all of these fairies were dead. I don't think she actually is a. F Shut up. <laughs> Is this what you were expecting, Alderoy? Shut up. <laughs> the prophecy is clear. She has awoken. Oh, great one. We have been preparing for your arrival. Please follow me. <laughs> I know this must all feel a little unusual. I mean, are you a human or a fairy? Just take a little time to get used to it. Oh, great one, this way. <laughs> okay, the... Hmm. Okay, so when I change like that, the sword gets left behind. And we only have a limited amount of time that we can uh, be a fairy. And it's... Oh, hi. I'm the official sign painter. <laughs> I hope you find them helpful. I spent a little time painting them. No map available. I'm trying to... X to drop your sword and fly. It's, it's using the con keyboard control still. Let's see. X again. Just, oh, we can call it back. The game is going a bit slowly. But that's on the game's end. Uh, it seems. Not the... Com yeah, not com it's supposed to be this uh, a slower pace, it seems. Yeah, otherwise I suspect it could be very stressful. Yeah, and there's nothing oh. wrong with games being a, a bit slower paced, especially well, since <laughs> not everyone will like those high octane uh, kill everything within two milliseconds games. You can fly until yeah. your magic runs out, it charges when you land. I think I've played some games where they felt a bit too quick for you to get a good chance to analyze what, what just bloody happened. <laughs> or how you even sold a thing at, at times. Let's 
trying other buttons, but I get the feeling we are not allowed to attack yet or something. Yeah, there also this is, is a tutorial, so they could be slower due to that. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Did you just kill an owl? Yep. Okay. Hold up. Four owls. Okay, just enough time. And we can call the sword back when we're in fairy form. So, yeah, we can attack in midair. Yep, and I just realized that's something that slightly bothers me sometimes. That is. And that, uh, that is. Um... Oh. You're the one the prophecy speaks of. The bringer of dawn is resurrected. You must hunt the great beasts. You must kill them and take their shape. The prophecy foretold all of this. You will carry us through the night. You will save us all. Okay. So a bit of 2D Dark Souls-ish. Oh dear. Hmm. Okay, right, that's what starting I mean. up a bit. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I do want it slightly... Annoying to concerning times when there's many games where the main character is just a mere kid with a sword and fighting. It's and my children are very sometimes, depending on how old they are. But the younger they are, the worse it gets for me. Yeah. Uh, she just had that at times with fantasy games. You're probably trying to tell a story of uh, maturing and such. And are you a hostile? <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> I wish I could fly. You can barely even walk with all this armor on. <laughs> but yeah, some games that are usually aimed for younger kids, you uh, have for a while almost tended a Kate character just due to that was the audience. Is I think was maybe not the best idea. Yeah. Hello there, General Kenobi. We ran east. Yes. I'm heading up these mountains to find the Great Bridge. At least I am if I can pass these damn lines. Okay, yeah, some slight Metroidvania stuff, it seems. Yeah, that's another trope I've seen in some movies. I hope I think are reducing, and that's that some movies always as a kid, just to have kid representation. So, Even when well, it should not be. Uh, you're the savior those idiots are on about. Well, get on with it then. Oh dear. Right. And it seems to be using movies. buttons for a PlayStation controller. Oh dear. Yeah, it did say that. Let's see, options... I saw that, that earlier, it spoke about place and controller. But yeah, there are some movies I feel like should not have game characters due to it feels very forced. It may be referencing... It made the buttons maybe like a, like a PlayStation controller, which I have in my hand here, because I got a cheap PlayStation 4. But uh, the shape of it is an Xbox controller, so... Uh, yeah, someone got a bit confused, I think. <laughs> Who are you and how did you get in here? Walking. A damned incompetent fool. I'd have had his head by now if we had any heads to spare. Well, never mind. Just be careful with that sword. I'll be forced to conf confiscate it. Well, we don't seem to have much use of it at the moment, except as a leash for that and what to attack with. Yeah, I think so far it seems that flying and calling that thing back is the fastest way to move. Oh, hey. Haven't you been evacuated yet? Nope. What? What's this with an ev evacuation then? Oh, hello there. Does it really look like there's an evacuation going on? Unless there's... 
it's and already been already. done probably yeah do you have found some people already that's still here not a babysitter evacuate yourself okay and what have we here a big i'm sorry but i can't open the gate for you it's too dangerous out there for little girls unless you think you can open it by yourself okay let's try it Okay, so we can use the sword to activate mechanisms as well. Got anything to say about that? I don't care if you've got a sword. Can you even lift that thing? No, but uh, well, who needs to lift it when you can just force pull it? Village of Velorandal? Yeah, Velorandal. Okay. Alright. I hope expect her to uh, at some point reply saying I'm a halfling or something like that. Maybe if she can even uh, speak. Uh, wait, they can. Uh, what the oh, this poop's done. Be right back. <laughs> uh, what the heck is that? What's it was what a zombie that owl? popped up and immediately got annihilated. Oh, what was a, a weird owl? Uh, don't land on those. Weird Owl Yankovic. <laughs> I want to see someone draw that now. Okay. Some light physics puzzles. Okay. <laughs> that missed him somehow. Uh, not this time. Okay. Hmm. Okay, sun, moon. When one goes up, the other goes down, of course. Is that hinting towards something? And that looks like something is buried there. Oh, <laughs> this guy was buried there, but yet now he's just <laughs> gone. But hmm. my, let's <laughs> not fall down there, yeah. There you go, pull it back, DJ. And who the heck plays around this? I just realized, I don't get the idea of what people place around stakes like this randomly. It, it, it feels like there's an obvious, someone not thinking of the other people when I use the forest, that might not be animals. Yeah, or they are just meant for animals. Like uh, hunters and such. Yeah, but even a hunter would, should probably... Yeah, you know... Make sure no one else falls into them. Hmm. Yeah, even then they could also be for... Yeah, village defense. From like raiders and such. Or it, raiders could have put them down to uh, try and catch people. Now, let's, mm, this okay, looks like then. a shop. So let's just first grab these crystals and I missed two there, okay. Looks like hey. a shy guy. Welcome to my humble store. We have everything a mystical hero could you hope for. Okay, health tonic. I feel like they're trying um, to play up that joke. Effects unknown. Okay, and I... diamonds. <laughs> okay. Uh, those are some very pricey potions, then. If you're yeah, <laughs> paying in di actual diamonds. I think I just realized. I think they're trying to yoke a bit about the uh, trend here about uh, spending money all the gifts when they show someone what's just a mere kid. <laughs> oh, it's the sword it's that has the actual mass. It would make sense. I mean, since we have trouble pulling it around. Yeah, I thought, don't, don't, so they wonder, are you sure the show someone is ready? Oop, oop. Maybe almost fell into that. Come on. Maybe let the show someone grow up a little bit first. Okay, I thought I got hurt there for a second, but apparently not. Okay, now we're dealing with inverse pillars. Oh, hello there. Well, 
Wait, those have the fixing piece as the... Uh, wait, are those not out, perhaps? Yeah, I think there's just some sort of zombies. Yeah, I'm talking about their faces, but they have the same face as the thing we put out uh, the owls were. Okay. And there's another one up there. Okay, yeah, it is the it is the sort the abs that absolutely has the mass. Okay. Hmm. Uh, this, this this game's fighting style is very interesting. Yeah. It's uh, like you're using a big metal uh, oh, boomerang. <laughs> yeah, it's not often that you get uh, weight puzzles with a character that practically weighs nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of true. But, uh, okay, that's one of those great beasts, I presume? The Queen of the Wood. The Queen of the Wood is a spider? Yeah. Okay. You just jump and... It didn't hurt. Okay. There we go. Okay, I think I launched it too early. Just basic darts and then strike. That is probably going to miss. They didn't, okay. <laughs> Easy enough. Just uh, jump if it gets too far. Okay, come on over. Not sure specifically if I don't think it's actually jumping towards us. Oop. Yeah, now it is, now it is. Okay, at least it takes a while for that to, to come down. I kind of should have expected it to do that <laughs> instead of jumping to the other side. Okay, so it's not as easy as thought, and we've lost all of our diamonds. Oh, come on. Wait, hmm. I'm not getting wondering, is that it? Yeah, I very much doubt that this will be the only boss. But that that is obvious. I also... Yeah, it'd be a bit more entertaining boss fights. Okay, come on down. The sword flying town. Yep, too early. Okay, why are you going that way? Is she jump? No, she's not specifically jumping when we change into fairy form. Like when you, you could say he's slow. So I feel like if you were to play this faster, it would get extremely hard to do the attacks. Yeah. And yeah, we already saw what happened when this thing started to speed up. Like it yep. is again. It seems we have enough HP for four hits. Too early. Oh. 
And that's going that way. Got it. Two more hits and we should be done. Oh. And we are only one hit away from death. Okay, yeah, I should have... I should have bought those help. Oh, there we go. Spider form unlocked. Okay. Uh, I think you leave for the surprise. The icon can be trusted. What the heck? She's dead. Yeah, it, it's it's being annoying now because it's giving PlayStation controls and an Xbox controller. The prophecy was right off after all. You can turn into a spider now too. That should help you climb the mountain. They say the beast that resides there is a giant. Made of stone. I'm sure you'll find a way to kill him. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, I stand in place with the right, the left one trigger. Then use A to throw the, the sword. Okay. I don't like her spider form. It looks... Uh, you see yourself. Yeah. Hmm. We can yes, press one to stand in place. Okay. And we can't climb the ceiling or something. Okay. Okay, that was not very useful use of spine power. Really that's all they use the web. Yeah, we can we can we can use this to be more ranged attack. Yeah, we can attack directly with this. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, we. <laughs> we now we are now Spider-Man with the sword. <laughs> well, at least that is a way to uh, give variety in combat. Yeah. See anything over this way? Yeah, a lot of these. Okay. Now, th this is an interesting game, but I'm not too sure if it... Hmm. I'm guessing this can be a maybe. Yeah. And, uh... so the only... The biggest problem is... Our character is not providing any story at all. Just everyone else is doing it. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that specifically, but I think the movement is a bit slow. Again, not really a full negative, but yeah, we'd probably have a lot of time where we'd just be trying to move to somewhere and having time to fill with talking. So yeah, I'm calling this a maybe. Yeah, maybe as well. It is interesting, but at the same time, let us set up 50-50. Yeah, I'd, I'd not seen any reviews of this, and how did I accidentally throw it over there? Uh, but on GOG, it said this game had a score of 60 out of 100. Of course, numerical scores are a bit... Uh, can be a bit iffy, since it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't uh, account for specific tastes and such. So, yeah, a game could be a 10 out of 10 for a strategy game, but that would not mean that anyone who doesn't, who prefers first person shooters will find any enjoyment into it and such. Before you take him. Someone came. Oh. I don't think you can save me, can you? Well, swing over this lava and get help. <laughs> I do like the chatter of these guys. Yeah. It is what gives me the wool. 
that they are being a bit satirical or hopeful about the, the usual uh, trend of these older games. And that's <laughs> just burning up into in lava. It, wait, oh. Huh? Oh, okay, so that's how we get our, our gems back. Do we did not get them back from the spider bots. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess that is a bit of a Dark Souls thing. Then, if you die through a boss, you just lose them. Or maybe I just missed... Um... It, it, it wasn't there, as, as I could see. So I guess there's a limit. It, but it is, it is a bug. No pun intended. Or it is a limitation. Hello there. Have you seen any of those cultists sneaking around here? The wildlife have started to go wild. You can barely keep them at bay. Those damn crazy cultists are to blame. I'm sure of it. Okay, starting the blame game. Okay, we, we get pulled forward a bit when we uh, start to pull ourselves up like that. Keep all, all of those back. Up, up, and away. Would you? Hmm. Let's at least uh, see about getting to that uh, to that mountain pass upwards. Oh. <laughs> I was about to say that better land in something. And uh, yeah, it works a bit like in, with Spider-Man logic in that you can just stick it into the sky. And if that's something, I, I really don't like the spider form. There's something awkward with it. Yeah. Okay. Like, I think it, it makes me... The way, the way they colored it... Yeah, it makes me think it's just a... Human in the shape of a spider with several human arms it just freaks me out. Okay, should have three of those now. Oh, uh, wait, did they pull up? Oh no, they, I. They blocked the way. Okay, I guess they. Can, I guess they finished the uh, evacuation then. I guess. Uh, is that it? I think I would be more impressed, uh, impressed if they made the. Uh, has a, uh, a spider for more like a drider, you know, like spider version of a centaur. Yeah, Chante does that. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, let, I'm guessing they want us to go to the uh, back to the cult here. Oh, actually, wait, there's an opening here. Is there anything up here or? Doesn't seem like it though. Hello. Goodbye. Yeah. We're just going to keep spawning here. Okay. We don't get right out of that opening then if we can't go up there. Oh yeah, this spider form out lets us travel a lot faster if long as I don't fall into pits. Yeah. Yeah, I think we are hitting out the half hour mark now. Yeah. Let's just see if there's anything going on with the cultists. And then... I'll call it. Yeah, we are moving a hell of a lot faster now, so... Yeah, that kind of counters my point from earlier. And yeah, they, they are going absolutely apeshit. So many of them all of a sudden. Oh, wait. Oh, it, it wasn't the way to the village that was blocked off, it was the way to the spider. Okay, that was a pretty cool trick with the flying. And the flying sword, too. Glover's <laughs> stuck now, though. <laughs> and the animals are all crazy out there. So, if you wouldn't mind closing the gate again... Uh, can we even...? No, now it's the gate that's stuck. 
Oh, there it goes. I don't know what's gotten so wild up. Did you see anything weird out there? There was a big ass spider that went killed. Um. Okay, yeah, this game is starting to grow on me. Like the main, the main problem that I saw so far with the, the slow movement, uh, the spider form kind of cancels that out. So yeah, we can make this a definite maybe. Uh, a maybe leaning big to a yes. Yeah, I'm just a bit skeptical on the store at the moment, for it seems very vague. I think this game might be more of a concept game. Just to see if it works and such. I'll, I'll do a bit of research on it. Actually, we can look it up right now. Uh, In the meantime, let's close it off and move to the next one. And yeah, this has potential to be quite fun. Now, next one here. Yeah, if it's just a concept game, then yeah, they have some interesting foundation there for other games to make. Let's see. Yeah, fifty-six percent on Metacritic, released two thousand nineteen. Um. Hmm. It's a game that has its heart in the right place, trying some interesting new uh, things in tried and uh, true. And of course, it hides the rest of it. And before I forget, uh, okay, it didn't like me alt tabbing there. Share that to Drakir because he needs to be able to see it, of course. Let's see. Da -da -da, bosses to kill. Hmm. So, unfortunately, a lot of those ideas aren't that appealing, and the novel ideas soon unravel into an endearing but merely decent adventure. Okay, at the very least, it's not awful, then. Yeah, that, that's good for... If it gets becomes boring or bland, it, it's a problem, then. Hmm. Even if I have cool game mechanics. Yeah, we, we can put it on a Saturday sometime to see if it gets any better. And... Hmm. Yeah, I'll look up if I'll actually I'll I'm going to forget anyways. Uh, otherwise, so let me just check this now. Not but not interested in all of these people. Let's see how long to beat, and hopefully it doesn't throw up that stupid. Okay, main story four hours. Okay, we we can uh, we can put a. a one or two Saturdays to finish that up, then. Yeah, that, that, that's a rather short game. Okay. Remember to keep OBS up front. It is known that the world fell. And that most people in it died. The dead will not suffer the hardships of the terrible world which remains. Those born into this hell have no remembrance of anything else. Those who survived. Those are the truly broken. For they know what was before. Yeah, that, that's quite a start, huh? Yeah. And I should remember, I never fully... I know of the Mad Max movies. But I've never seen one from start to finish. Okay, let's give this a try with the controller as well. And, uh, yeah, I've seen fragments of Fury Road, which I hear is a very good, possibly... Well, there's. I think there's only four uh, Mad Max movies, with one being terrible that to the point that people disavow it or something did not know that i know but, uh, uh, yeah <laughs> beyond that i've heard that the first the second and fury road are great to amazing all right i 
I am in the same position. I only seen fragments of the all the older ones and the newest one. Never seen the full movies. And it seems many people at my for my generation has been the same experience. Here we go with the memes again, witness and all of that. Do not take my prize. The Black Tar is mine. I have watched a review of the movie though. I don't see you. Prize is gone. Man out. Man out. No, no, no. Stick together. This is one clever fox. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is one way to deal with that. He was one such man. One who had lost all over and over. And to this, he had lost his sanity. His was a never-ending journey away from the phantoms of his past. He believed he could silence the cacophony in his mind and find peace beyond a place he called the planes of silence. He now had the vehicle, the weapons, the provisions and the fortitude. He only needed the fuel. And here, there was but one place to go for fuel. Gas them. Come on, not even his freaking clothes. I'm pretty sure that went into something very, very important. Won't somebody tell me? What the heck? Answer if you can. I want and did he also throw off his own dog? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should be disturbed or impressed or both. Answer if you can. This setback would not stop him. He would have his peace, even if it meant another war. And war was coming, because he had created a mortal enemy. Pipe gun? We're seeing a lot of Scandinavian names in the credits. Okay, yeah, I, I, 
I had heard a plenty that this game was good, and I've seen Beanie, an another streamer and friend of mine. Uh, he he'd been playing it for a while. I had not actually seen the start of it, so uh, yeah. And this is coral. This is supposed to be at the bottom of a sea. Oh. Well, yeah. In the world of Mad Max, uh, think Fallout, but uh, with a whole lot less water. Yeah. No, is, is there any monsters in the Mad Max world? Only the humans, I think. Which are monstrous enough. Yeah. So it, it does feel a little lackluster for me. For in Fallout, at least there's mutated monsters around. Okay, not much water. Then again, I'm not super fan of desert environment. So I can like, I can like them to a certain degree, but it's one of those that gets sometimes boring quickly. The dog has led me right so far. Find it. it depends on how well you vary things up a bit. And yeah. there's the dog. For the, there's only few games I know that have done dry desert climate very well, but other games they have done them so boring that you just want to rush through it. To it, just to get to some other area. Yeah, from what I know, that the, we will be going through a hell of a lot of. Was that a gunshot? Uh, we'll be going through a hell of a lot of sand, but. Oh, hello there. Start ablaze by godly plug ignite. Revolution about revolution rejoice! Please! Now don't kill! Chum Rocket! Please! Hey! <laughs> Why shouldn't I? Because I know you. Yeah, I spied you in the long lookers. They left you for the blowflies and they snatched your ride. And now you'll be looking to snatch it back. That's what the prophecy says. You're the driver. That's right. And Chum Bucket is your man! Yeah, I'm your man! Yeah, yes, I am. Do you have a vehicle that can take you to your car? My goose. Egg. That's right. She's not running now. Sorry for that. I came here for the part. You see, I'm a black finger. I can make it work again. And I think you did too. It's gonna need an overhaul. Don't go stray. No, I won't. I know you'll find me and dismantle me. I know. Chum bucket's not stupid. And yeah, that's Jump Bucket. Uh, over here. Over. We'll be seeing a lot of him. And uh, was the dog's leg always that hurt? I, it wasn't bleeding before, so he oh, could have put a snare in that thing. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll be seeing a lot of sand, but it's the gameplay that'll be the main attraction, from all I've seen and heard. The dog's bleeding out. Oh. I can fix it, but I do my best work in my sanctum. Push the car. I need wire to fix my buggy. But then I can show you where they took the black on black. Where do I find wire? Up that path. But, but before you go, grab some grit, Saint. You must be running on fumes. Uh, yeah, one of the things in the Mad Max world is that, uh, yeah, I forget if the apocalypse was nuclear or that. Uh, uh, yeah, food for quick health, uh, and uh, yeah, that's world. mostly dog food. Apparently, the most famous or well, most well-spread dog food brand in this world was Dinky D. Why? <laughs> that's why everyone calls dogs also Dinky D and such. <laughs> but uh, yeah, since the apocalypse, there's been a sort of a, a religion of mechanics. You know, Sprouted up, and with uh, Chum Bucket there, he's a black finger. I forget the specific of it, but that means he that he's a mechanic, Sp uh, especially a very good mechanic or something. I and okay, I see that the game is running rather slow on the recording, so let's drop the settings a bit. Yeah, it, it is. Can. It is on my looks a bit a bit choppy, but it could be my internet. It reminds me. I think I forgot to tell you this. They're gonna mm -hmm. add a fiber net to this building. Okay. 
Let's Up put to everything to normal. And we're gonna get about 1000 megabits. Okay, so no more trouble with downloads, huh? Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully, if I understand right. I also had to ask some other friends yesterday to make sure if megabits and megabytes were the same or different thing. If they were the same, I would call out, say, we, we just been getting worse into that. But no, apparently bits is better. Let's just turn all of these things off. That should help a lot. Everything to normal. There. Uh, still below 60 frames. Hmm. You, know, you mean FPS? Oh yeah. It says in the corner up to 264 or something. No. Uh, where I'm in the corner? Uh, a green text for up. Uh, uh, well, it, it, let me see. That doesn't mean the map. Then right up ahead, far up in a corner. Okay, I'm not seeing that on my end. So. I see that on a few games so you've been playing. Hmm. Maybe that's from the, the OBS or something? Let's see, let's put this down to normal. Uh, you're not getting the OBS footage. You're getting it directly from the game itself. Hmm. Then why can I see the FPS then? Um, hmm. Oh wait, I, that's in, in game, yeah, it, it, I see. Uh, you're getting the square, you're getting basically a screen share from me, whilst OBS is catching only the game. And okay. I, wait, you have high. Okay, you have no low settings, okay. A bit odd. Hmm. That sounds odd indeed. Yeah, let's put everything on its lowest then. Yeah, typically, people call that the lowest low and not normal. So, yeah, I think that'll have to do then. And, yeah, the game just runs... For some reason, it's running at 30 frames on the recording. But for me, it's running smoothly. That's for just me, plain it's, odd. For me, it's slightly choppy, but then again, maybe due to the internet. Okay, shotgun with B. Uh, yeah. Is this one gang raiding another? Yeah, I think another problem I with Mad Max is... Compared to Fallout, you can see why people are still surviving. In Mad Max, there's... barely any animals. Yeah. Which makes me wonder... How is anyone surviving? Bugs. I can't imagine. Bugs. I, I've seen on Beanie's stream. Uh, a bit further in, you make you can make. Oh, you can make basically a bug farm with extra foods. So uh, yeah, people are yeah. living off of dog food, and this is supposedly not as long after the apocalypse. As in Fallout, where it is typically at least 200 years later. Here it should be only a few decades. And it depends on game. I think the Fallout 64 is only like 25 years after the Doomsday. Yeah, but most of the others are about 200 years. Yeah. Bloody heck. And then again, I believe the creator of... the the Mad Max series has at one point... Oh, okay, info on this, we can find an extra scrap. Has said that you shouldn't take the the movies and too seriously, as they are more supposed to be like a mythological retelling of everything. All right. Yeah, that would at least help a bit. Oh, there's the other scrap. 
Can I? Hmm. No. <laughs> that was wasted. Yeah, how do I climb up this? There should be a jump button, right? Yep, uh, there it is. I, how is it going on the OBS? It's still 30 to 40 frames per second. But it's just strange. Let me try something. Maybe the game capture is being slow with it again. So instead we move to window capture. See if that helps any. Fill that up on the screen. How is that? Nope, immediately back to 36. Maybe does it like being recorded? Hmm. Yeah, with Beanie it also had some choppy moments, but... Wait, now... It... Hmm? Okay, it's being strange with the window capture. It's only showing, like, a, a, a still picture of it. So that, <laughs> that is even more useless. Okay. Third option. And display capture just... There we go, the display capture. It's also low. Okay, return to chum. I thought that was... Uh, I thought it was supposed to be aligned to him, but no. I'm, I'm a bit too used to games having these... Uh, yeah, auto, not auto travel, but guided travel lines to show you where to go. But no, that's a road. And... <laughs> uh, Yuki. See if you have anything on you. Some scrap. Hmm. Yeah, that's running even worse than the others. Yeah. Probably it should not be making a series of this game then. If it's gonna be like that. Now on 30 it doesn't look terrible. Just a bit lower quality. I'll, I'll, I'll have to make... Actually, I should probably stop saying that I'll make a note and just make the notes as I'm doing these. Because otherwise I'm sure to forget. Okay. Look into... You are not ready. What? Who the hell? Look into... Mad Max and OBS. Yes, from all I've heard, this is a good this is a good game. But if it's going to have recording issues, then uh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's gonna be annoying. I, mean, I just pray that Singularity will cooperate. Well, it did in the test. Yep. No. Oh dear. Um oh. here I heard the bloody sounds of a smackdown. You're not are you? Tell me you're not. Huh? Praise me! Praise me! <laughs> My buggy's just over here. Follow me! Well, I guess when the world is a desert, you're not going to you're not going to want to waste any fluids, even if it's dog's blood. This way. Not the Yeah, it's a weird boat. fucking world. Yeah, yeah, we are by an ocean. Oh, easy. Well, at least what was most the ones are coast. Easy. Grab it up and go, Saint. Buggy's humble, but she can haul! Okay, accelerates, brake, standard controller, and steering. I seem to wonder what did. Amen! Huh? May we arrive in time to save your black on black from slaughter? These barbarians love to chop. Right, I was saying, what kind of more to these resorts with water? Yes, from that looky look point. We may be able to spot your car. I'm not. I'm not sure if the was supposed to be nuclear like the, the this. franchise there. started in the yeah, 80s. Um, yeah, nu nuclear power was around then. Uh, yeah, I. Th 
I'm not sure if it just left vague or not. Yeah, see, this is where the thick brow squat and cut butchers in for the I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Yeah, look. There. This kind of a scrotus is that king. Yeah. He was a big boss man from the gas town, you see. Scrotus always keeps the best parts for himself, you see. Yeah, but he's not here now, you see. I, I don't see the land over. I'm getting my car back. Please, 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 please. An idea. It's better for you, and it's better for me. Just listen. Look, your, your black on black is toast. It's scrap. It's gone. She'll never be whole again. Huh? Now I, I can build you a car, bring into creation one that's faster and tougher than the black on black ever was. Yeah? Hell tough, hell fast. Very. Faster than fear. Tougher than an iguana's gonads. Hmm? Come with me. We mustn't be seen. Huh? I'll take you to the tabernacle, and when you see what well, I'm going to show you, what? you'll be shouting holy all day long. Yeah, like I said, a bit of a religion of uh, mechanics and cars. Thanks. Bloody heck. Yeah, and looking at this environment, I think I know what may have happened. What then? Is global warming? Uh, actually, that might actually, actually be it. Actually, yes, and more in I think that people may not expect. The, the water is not gone. However, depending how the nuclear war went, if there was, this may be, this may, this may be a new ice age. And there's more ice up north and south, which means this. Let's see, Mad Max, film series. Does it say anything quickly? Um... Yeah, for if I remember right, if another ISIS happens, water we reside mm -hmm. up toward those caps and get frozen. But when the ice melts again, you will have a flood instead. Let's see. The, if my theory is right, if this kind of, if this kind of uh, apocalypse, it would probably mean, well, Sweden and other European countries may be frozen over. Yeah, and I'm not seeing anything specifically quickly saying about what the hell happened. Um, so yeah, let's just move on. Feral man, my car lost, reduced to scrap by Scrotus's war boys. I need new wheels and I need them fast. Can this bizarre deranged mechanic help me? Okay, binoculars. Okay. Let's see, I think... Yeah, I, unlike uh, typical of these uh, open world games, I'm pretty sure that you can spot new things from Heck new locations. Oh. Perfect place to build a car. You can spot new places from anywhere with these binoculars. It's only that... Uh, yeah, there's still the uh, infamous radio tower-ish things around. Where you get a lot better of a look around. I think, at least. Hmm. This is the first time that I'm playing this game, so there is a lot I do not know about it. Over there is the great white. An ancient seabed. I'm not sure. No, but we are at the bottom. It doesn't get any lower than this. Well, the gorge that we passed by earlier says otherwise. <laughs> when you're ready, Saint, my holy hideout awaits. And yeah, for some reason. Uh, Chamba could obviously think that we're some sort of prophesied driver. Come. Come and see. Huh? Come. Come and see your saint. Huh? A dream. A hallucination become truth. The angel made steel. By the fire that moves the piston. By the tranny on all high. By the cam and the huge joint blessed be. Huh? There she lies. The magnum opus. There she is. 
This ain't her car. It's just a mess of parts. No, no, no. She's knowledge from the numinous, divinely inspired. She wills herself upon this world. Look! See? Here. Divine meets dry shaft and a symbiosis of faith. Modded and made to measure. Why some of that old time religion, huh? I got a classic whammy turbo high dog. Huh? Hell yeah! Bulletproof and torture tested. Aesthetically upgraded with chum bucket overdrive. Coils, springs, shocks, and links too. It's gonna be eight soon. There's nothing less. Yeah. We will get there. Yes. First, we have to get her beautiful body. Show me where it is. <laughs> Yes! Yeah. Come, no time like the present. Come on, see. We must go. <laughs> okay, then. That, that's more like the thing you see getting crashed in tests. And uh, yeah, yeah, I just yeah. looked it up here. Her body, uh, from a the exchange happens. Where the chariots of old went to die. The place I call the graveyard. We must go in the dead of night. And the buzzard guardians are away on their fine hunt. Yeah, that's a collection point. But yeah, let's let's just go towards the. Yeah. Let's just finish this mission, uh, and then we'll call it because well, we're at the half hour mark. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Apparently there was a nuclear war. Mm. All right, but you also said this can be a bit technical. I wonder if that this would happen so quickly off the nuclear uh, strike. Oh, Unfortunately, gas town comes the blessings of gasoline. We should find enough fuel for us to make it to the graveyard. I think of it. I think this is more likely to have happened in the fallout game for the 200 oh, years that the. That might be some errors they've frozen over. She's out of gas. Oh, hello. Knock, knock. Take the war, boy. What are you waiting for? I'm starting to think that the tools that made these space orcs, or well, orcs and Warhammer, took a lot of inspiration from this. Uh, I, I think it was actually Batman Arkham uh, Asylum that started with this whole uh, type of game, uh, combat system. Okay. 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 I'm not going to talk about aesthetic. Uh, yeah, aesthetics go back and forth a lot between things. True. Okay. So the whole war boys makes me think of orcs, orcs instantly. <laughs> I. I'm not sure if this game came out before or after uh, Shadow of War. Keep that. There we go. We feel with axe. Oh, that kind of orcs, but all right. I am wondering if the Warhammer is older than the first Mad Max or not. Praise is hmm. he's full! <laughs> but let's bring an extra for refueling. Or blowing something up. Okay, yep. Don't hit the fuel or the, the rims. Okay. Uh, yeah, we. it says they're right at the bottom. We can ignite these things to, to use as bombs. Though, uh, yeah, we'll probably want it as for fuel more. Before the nightly hunters return to their lair. Okay. Also, something that is a part, I believe. Uh, not too sh again, I'm not too sure about all of this. Uh, Beanie would know a lot more about this. He actually does know a lot more about this because he's a Mad Max fan. Supposedly, all of the Mad Max stuff takes place like 20 years after everything went to hell. And Max here, of course, was uh, already Nobody an adult run. when that happened. Unguarded. So he's he should be around 40 to 50 and uh, so let's make this one I'm not count. sure he looks that way at the moment which is another thing that adds to the uh, whole legendary telling stuff well I can see people being looking like that when they're up to 40 especially if they have what people call a baby face but well it would explain the thing on his leg 
True. Exaltation! She's cracked open! We must hurry. Wardens of this place murder on sight! I was wondering, do we see whale boats and lo and behold, the wheel? Or, I mean. The fiends that tend this catacomb don't like strangers! Everywhere, Tread careful. Still, force my hand spider. Yeah, oh. how is that? The how is that even triggered? And is there a rumble going through this place or something? More traps ahead. Uh, yeah, the Mad Max world is an interesting one, and if we can get this game to run smoothly, because it is at its lowest settings at the moment, uh, yeah, then it, then I'd say it would be up for streaming sooner or later. Yeah. Oh, that's going yeah. to blow. At the moment, if you get the cinematic work, I'm definitely be looking forward to Shantae. Uh, yeah, that is also what we, we have a bit of a list uh, on Discord in DMs where we oh, where uh, we know where, where I've noted a bunch of games for streaming uh, sooner or later. Oh, okay, we didn't get flipped there. So, I think we might be a bit on fire at the front there. We've become room dog. <laughs> was that the radiator that was on fire? The, it, I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to burn, seeing as it should be full of water. There! Our prize! Right for the taking! Go, go quickly! The oh, only way to get up there is through those cave tunnels! Okay, this is actually taking a bit longer than thought, so can we save it here? It's only working on auto saves, apparently. Or not. Okay, there is manual saving. But, uh, yeah, that was 40 minutes of that about. Let's not uh, hog too many of these. Uh, cool. Yeah, especially since it's rather chugs. So let yeah. me switch this. Oh, it's already back on game capture. I forgot about that. Potential, but we need to fix the just the low frame rate. Yeah, otherwise I suspect that could uh, look very awful on recording if we put it up on YouTube. Yeah. Now for the third game, sharing it to Drakir, and yeah, it auto captures. Remember to put OBS on top to see if there's anything going wrong. Because I have that on the side here, along with Task Manager, to see how much the GPU and such is being used. And yeah, welcome to Magicka 2. Learn to spell again... again? <laughs> okay, I hadn't I'm, noticed that before. I was thinking of something the right way. Do you see the compass there in the water? Yeah. Want me to translate what that says to the text? Uh, Midgard, that should be like Earth and such. And that is indeed Midgard. Pronounced meat, meat gourd in this case. <laughs> meat gourd? Yeah, okay. that A is not pronounced like an A. It's O. It's, it's, the letter is called O. O. And then there is <laughs> the Boring Bay, and then the Isle of Liven, which looks like a fish, and then just a, a plain skull island. The Isle of Relais. It's a low cross reference. Okay. Your fool's house. Okay, let's see. Uh, I have no interest in that. Why the heck will he want you eat? What? Yeah, it, it just is stupid with some games that they want you to you to have an account made in their own system for multiplayer. Wait, there's a Magic Card game. Okay. Um. Surprise. And yeah, if they want me to move an extra account to play this game, I will not. Just for multiplayer, that, that's just annoying. Yeah, I'm not too sure if this game would be good for streaming as well, because 
Yeah, it's just uh, it's more a game for absolute chaos than actual story. Yeah, and I feel like we would accidentally kill each other too easily. <laughs> well, that is half the fun of it all. But yeah, let's have a look at the prologue. Uh, familiar. Okay, boosts damage after kills and revives you. Yeah, no familiar. Simply revives you when you die. Boost laments at random and revives you. Uh, let's try this little pit manager then. Come on, go bananas on diff... Normal hard and bananas. Okay, that is a new word for uh, difficulty. Well, that, it makes sense. Especially since this game is made by Swedes. Dying is part of the game, but that. you find yourself dying more often than you'd like. Try changing your tactics. Some enemies are more vulnerable to certain elements than others. Bloody heck. Ah, ah a visitor. Stay a while. Stay forever. I mean, stay as long as you wish. And I will tell you a story of uh -huh. wizards. Just wizards, no vampires. Once upon a time, in a land known as Midgard, there was the Noble Order of Magic. The wizards of the Order lived in a great castle called Aldraheim, where they studied the fine art of spellcasting. They often lent a helping hand to the less gifted inhabitants of Midgard, defending them against monsters, running fetch quests, and at times, even saving the world! In time, the Order of Magic began to expand into new frontiers, founding new schools all over Midgard. However, this short time of prosperity would come to a brutal end. An evil presence infiltrated the Order of Magic and sowed the seeds of civil war between the schools, marking the beginning of the legendary Wizard Wars. As the wars raged on, the wizard's numbers dwindled. After dying and being revived countless times, they began to... deteriorate. At the end of the wars, only a handful of wizards remained. Blabbering, violent, confused, never invited to parties. Their purpose and sanity unraveled. Without their protectors around to accidentally burn the crops, kill all the livestock and incinerate most of the townspeople, the humans rejoiced and entered what came to be known as the Golden Age of Man. In this time of relative peace and calm, the gentle winds of time ruffled the sensitive braids and beards of the seers of the world. The greatest of them all was Nostrir the Soothsayer, and his vision was clear. A child Infused with all the stray magical energies released during the devastating wizard wars, had been born somewhere in Midgard. Once of age, this child would possess limitless power over the elements, and thus the ability to make the world a better place, free of suffering for all. But the prophecy also spoke of a shadow. A shadow which intends to seize all of Midgard, and for its first step, it would prevent the child from ever realizing her power. These dark tidings at hand, the handsome teacher Vlad decided to end his well-deserved multi-decade-long vacation and travel back to Castle Aldraheim. There he hoped to find one to four brave wizards to whom he could give the glorious quest of saving the world! <laughs> Trollgubbe, ye wander kvart ihr om tider et vipskastler puff! Ah, visignati de aldraheim, se opportunim... He helped have kissy catty throw. Hell day! There's a lot of mixed Scandinavian there. <laughs> uh, yeah, th this game is completely tongue in cheek. So, so tongue in cheek 
As in fact, that your tongue is where it'd be likely to just stick out through your cheek entirely. Yeah, I just noticed screwing its made this, and there's a lot of Scandinavia out here, but I can say it right away. The narrator is not Scandinavian for he really made the English mistake of pronouncing me, me go so wrong. Yeah, yeah, they, like I said, this game is not to be taken seriously in the absolute slightest. Let's see, move around, aim your mouse where you want to go and click. You can either click and release. Okay, I don't they remember this being the way. They help me meet Cartoon Sovider. Platski, Platski, Dalski, Atmas Vatrochus, Baki Slotter can be vetting me. Yeah, Vlad is totally not a vampire. Totally not. Yeah, how many languages did they mix, mash up into that for at least Danish, Swedish, and just some gibberish? <laughs> Let's see. To heal yourself, conjure life by pressing W. Press and hold. Okay. Middle mouse to cast on self. And yeah, we have our spells in the middle there. Did we run out of mana? Oh, we ran out of life energy. Knowing okay. you probably did. Hmm. Let's see, an ancient lesson for wishes to seek <laughs> seeking to master lightning. Step one, climb up a high mountain. Step two, clear your head. Step three, step four, step. <laughs> uh. Uh. Okay, what have we here? Hmm. Life heals healing things and injures the dead, and can be used to turn many spells into beams. More advanced use can turn certain spells into mines. Okay, what else have we here? Fire. F. Right now it's been spray, okay. Now, if we combine these two, we get a beam. Nice, and now we got this beam. The accounting was choppy, extremely choppy, but now it looks just fine here. Yeah, I noticed that it was at low frames per you know, low FPS as well on OBS, but not as well with it being still images, it was yeah not as uh -huh. noticeable. But, uh, fire nope, can ignite and destroy, melt ice Everything and dry those who are affected by wetness. It also Everything hurts like hell. Bloody heck. For me it was like it was vibrating on everything. And yes, you can set yourself on fire. Yeah, this, yeah, these games are known to be very... It gives you like... You know, the biggest reason you may not never finish a game is because you and your friends are pissing to each other. Yeah, which typically gets a bit in the way of actually getting through it. Yeah, uh, either by accident or... accident. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, the Yorks cast tried to play this together with uh, Total Biscuits, but uh, <laughs> apparently they had such a falling out over it that they just abandoned it. Oh, okay. it went that bad. Hmm. Let's see. Earth sends rock, protects us from the air, and makes the ground rumble. Combined with other elements, Earth lets you create barriers, explosive projectiles, and various armor you can wear. Be careful, rock projectiles can ricochet. Okay, we... <laughs> <laughs> if we cast it on ourselves, we just drop a rock on our head. Okay. So. Okay. And our first bit of combat, I'm guessing. Yeah, but I guess remember, we did speak about if this in boss, if we should uh, string this together, but... Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's see, how to Again. spell chapter one. Elements at the bottom of the screen show the eight magical elements that can be combined to make spells. Selecting an element will conjure it into your spell queue. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah I can't get we decided to not stream this and play this together. <laughs> because it would be absolute mayhem. Yeah. Extremely. Okay, we can store five we can store up to five elements at a time. Boom. <laughs> And that makes a comment. And okay, that was, that dealt 300 damage, and it still only half hurt him. Yep. Okay. It sounded like he stopped laughing while he was burning. An achievement, my loot. Okay. And we didn't seem to have dropped anything. Uh, 
except maybe his spine for the position. This looks like a very advanced yoga position. Oh, but I'm dirty back right there. Oh, wait, yes, for water. Water. sorry. As I said, just not only have a goblin. And yeah, if we put in more um, of the same element, it comes out stronger. And I thought the water, should I just mess with me more for speaking more English? You know, it's really. Uh, yeah. Okay, but I'll start you calling you Vlad then. Hmm. Oh, that's a big one. What? Out the spell chapter two. There are multiple ways to cast a spell: forward cast, self cast, avia cast, weapon cast. Okay, most spells allow you to move around while casting. Okay, so let's try that. Explain uh, yourself. Why would you call me Vlad? Because Vlad is using the broken uh, Scandinavian. Oh. At least he's doing it better than... Yeah, they want to invent it with TV yeah. <laughs> Come on, there's an exit sign. That, that looks like something we have in schools. Lighting element does decent damage and loves to jump wildly from victim to victim, damaging and stunning each one. A Lego hand. <laughs> A foam finger. <laughs> oh yeah, check it out. Yeah, that's what people wish. Lucky for the first. Yeah, apparently the goblin uh, forgot <laughs> that they can't swim. Okay, death with S. Okay, and just straight up damage. If we mix that with Earth... Okay. Yeah, there is a lot of combinations that you can make with this, and I believe there are special ones as well. Uh, also, for example, when we combine water with fire, we get steam. Yeah, no exactly. half, though. I got Certainly like no half-life. You know what I have to say? I think that's also one of the problems when you're playing multiplayer this stuff. You forget what each spell do, and when they cross spell beams, that's where some accidents may occur. Yeah, <laughs> actually, that's when most occur. Yeah, especially actual accidents. Let's see if we do that. <laughs> that's a very powerful hot fart. Lightning with A. Shit. Oh. Okay. Yeah, electrical technology wasn't around in the first game. Pelde, mir expander dine quester. Hooter de propepa barn. Ingen barn, ingen hooter sa. Nishpatsen langt borti siken schalleten nostrir, asker factor. Wils navisi. Vara hoger hande. Okay, you know why usually does the trick. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, hello there. Is it easy? Living with me. Never have a little opus. Are you ready? Kirakitu. To give it all. Peter. Titor Sosa Connor. It's easy, son. Okay. Is the Borgi the Spectre's bot? Me with the first person, me with the musical silver. Aiden, conflicted to the social corner fun wall? Supreme, the the book of Dandavis, me make him the spook of him and baby Merv. Look at me, no? I don't know, Vic. Are they trying to sell a duck, bowling scout, or bowling scout? Are they trying to sell a duck, They're proved off there for Peter Bond. Quote the raver birdie. Them crack Darren, eh? Give a poltergaster. Wicker, 
They just keep going and going. Never more. We're finally done. Like, okay, we, see, we seriously can't have a single one of these uh, Sunday streams without politics popping up somewhere, <laughs> even if it's just to take the absolute piss. Uh, for me, I'm starting to think how much is your mix match of you know, Scandinavian languages, or if they're trying to sound like one of the two more extreme versions of Swedish that are basically their own languages at this point. Okay, uh, <laughs> I think I'm crying a bit from just how stupid all of that is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which is a magic or a super spell, it sends forth a powerful forest wave in front of you. It's great for getting a bit of personal space or for pushing up naturally round boulders out of the way. Hint, hint. Okay, I don't think this was in the original Magicon. Uh, where, but uh, yeah, it has a few spell slots here for saving them. Uh, uh, I don't think I was supposed to do that. <laughs> At least with me aiming this way. Yeah, let's see, magic quick slots are displayed above your elements at the bottom of the screen. Da, da, da. You have equipped in each of the slots to have how to cast them in each magic focus level. What is focus? Mm -hmm. Oh, it, it's a recharge. Da, da, da. I could see us stream this regularly, but more like in just you. Yeah. Just for the other insanity of it all, but okay, it seems that... If we do it like this, that makes push. Uh, or that. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. I can only say that the word troll has been Swedish. That's the game center. Okay, it says Q and E should make for push. Uh, wait, your character is wet. Yeah. And it looks wet. Yeah. So it only shall me. Like, hmm. wait, is it really silk? Okay, a bit, it's a bit odd. It says if we use it like this with the quick slots, then it use then it needs to recharge. But if you use it through the <coughs> elements, it shouldn't. It doesn't have to recharge. But we're, I'm trying to pull it off, but it doesn't seem to work. Ancient door. Data known for more information about this item. Listen to our audio tour marker. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, data, listen to audio tour marker number 34. If you've lost your audio tour device, instructions about how to acquire a new one can be heard at audio tour marker number 5. So, uh, not. Okay. Dry ourselves off. I just remind myself from my childhood here. Heck is this spell? And uh, uh, yeah, you were saying? Sorry, uh, we keep interrupting I, you. I just remember something here as a, from my younger days. Uh, people talk about many things. Like, do, I think in uh, certain ages, something like we never talk about was underwear and such, except for silk underwears. And everyone hated them. Okay, isn't silk supposed to be good or? People hey, sold them as a luxury. Seriously? Right. This one, like, people sold them as a luxury at first, but then quickly hated them due to how uncomfy seat underwears were quickly, especially for boxers. Okay. They, yeah, they simply say. They, they basically uh, give you cuts between your bum cheeks, basically. Ow. 
Yeah, I now mean. you see the problem and why people, well, the only word they spoke about was only a negative tone. <laughs> Okay, I think I'll stick to cotton then. Yeah, it, it, it can't be at first, but you we quickly notice they are uncomfy. At least the male ones, uh, those for men. Yeah, you haven't tried the, the one for women? Why would I? <laughs> Why would I? Uh, I have tried them first and stop never it, again. Stop it, you're clearing your arm! <laughs> Rapida! Take the weapon and hit I me hard with it. Okay. Oh, see, at least I never had a veggie in Steel Tower, then I realized someone tried to do it once. And, uh... Mr. Kiva! Tritter, you I think we're dealing with a masochistic <laughs> training dummy. Ah, eh, ehem. Blimey me. Ehem, Procedure their other thinger. Speller G. Uh, Sasser. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, let's see. If we do the those extra. Oh, okay. Uh, in the intro, you could see that uh, lightning and earth those were cancel each other out. It's the same with water and electricity. Yeah. Not the uh, same with life and such. Ice and fire. Okay, so it's basically the one above them that uh, oh, does that. Uh, Okay, <laughs> gaming rock shield. That, that was by accident. That's kind of interesting spell, but it. Ahoy! Ahoy! Seriously? You have a new scared! Let's see. Ice boulder? No, oh, ice shards. <laughs> Let's see. Steam and rock? Hi! Yeah, it's a comet rock. Steam comet. Scurvy mutt. New, new step. <laughs> I'm Scallybagger. Speller near the clinger, neither knap. Twinkler star, the swasher booker. Ha 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 ha. Let's see, what if. Oh, we those cancel each other out. Uh, wait. I still suspect that they did this voice acting just as a joke for people that don't understand Swedish. Probably yep. for her people say this is how sweet it sounds, and just decide, let's mock them. Okay, it seems earth and water made something. Oh uh, yeah, let's put huh? whatever that is on our... Is that flaming light? La la earth or something? Okay, that deals a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, let's see, there was Q and... No, right? Okay, what did I... Wait, hold on. I think you killed him. Maybe permanently this time. Uh, used by the most loyal and steadfast of training dummies. Slightly weakens all spells. Slows focus rate. Challenge accepted. Uh, oops. <laughs> Less than medium. Oh, we can pick these back up. Okay. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> this, this is probably an achievement for getting through the game with only those two. I would not be surprised, but that's part of Swedish humor. Okay, but how did I get that, uh, that green orb to... Okay, I, I accidentally made a, a sort of life. No, not a life, a sort of plant orb, but... Ah, hmm. Glomsky. Literepa Franderdin. Catch! It's dangerous to go alone with that. Close! <laughs> Revive. Revive is your most important magic, at least until you and your friends stop feeling like squishy meatballs. First one to die, first one to revive. Wait, did you say meatballs? It's just meat bags! Yeah, meat, yeah, meat bags. I was. <laughs> All of this talk of Sweden has me thinking of the IKEA meatballs. Wait, that's uh, a thing. How to spell? Chapter 3. Some elements can reach each other out. For example, lightning and water can never coexist. Neither can life and death. This fact can be used to delete an element from your spell queue if you can't it one by mistake. Uh -huh. Different creatures have different strengths, resistances, weakness, and some are even healed by elements that would normally harm others. Wizards must experiment with the different elements to find combinations that best suit the situation at hand. Uh, yeah, I, I, 
You've never heard of Swedish meatballs at IKEA? I may have not mentioned, but I thought it was a yolk. <laughs> no, they, they are not. They are. Oh. They're probably considered some of the best meatballs you can get anywhere outside of this, outside of like restaurants and such. But here's the thing: I don't think they sell those things in our IKEA as in Sweden. <laughs> so <laughs> Sweden gets denied their own meatballs. No, we buy our own meatballs from the store. <laughs> uh. Let's see. Unlocked. Unlocks found eight of ten. We we, we missed some things. All deaths number two. Life number three. Okay. I, uh, I guess you can say that oh. we don't need to buy Swiss meat, but we just buy them from the store regularly. And okay. Pla life and lightning was for reviving familiars. Okay. All right. Uh, Ow. Why don't you many blondes? Oop. <laughs> well, you, heal, you did heal him, so... Uh, wait, you made yourself bleed. What? Yeah, I hit my... I hit, used this on myself. Yeah, that's down the... On the swords. And it's just... Okay, I'm not getting how these spells are really working, apparently. It's a lot of experimentation. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I think we can. Pl I can play this. I can stream this game solo with you uh, overlooking it, uh, because uh, yeah, two um, with two players, uh, we'd get in our each other's ways constantly. Great, the new to yeah, and you will come to the autumn Defender Fest. Second in the quiz of champ, Jeva the man. The heck is he juggling? I think that it's a ball. Is that yep. a ball? I think that's a ball. Yeah. And I was saying, there's a small problem with some of these games that you see everyone on the same screen. And that's, you can easily, even with names, mistake your own character for someone else. Yeah. This just makes the issues even worse. It, it's saying here how the spells should be cast. But it still does not do it. Okay, that that looks freaking cool. I, I hope that some other magic-based games get inspiration from this. Uh, there's a game called Magic Maker. Not sure if that came out before or after this. Uh, it's a 2D thing, but uh, I don't remember too much of it. But you can make wands with your own spells or something. Um, I think the only that try to do it, but not in the. Well, same grand scale as this one. Can we just wander off into here? Yes, we can. And the heck are you? Is some sort of frost goblin? Hello, sharp character. Ow. Keep a job of robber teller. Tell her, mister. Uh, let's not stand in the fire. Gender. We have yet to scoop a rocket gas. Meet the creature extra. Meet your creature. Yiva Uter means your pistol own. Nender piece apart and be a movie groover. Stab a stab a shrubber, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not buying that. Yep, definitely not buying that. It was not doing anything. Okay, that's that. Yeah, I, I really just make that just brewing this voice acting just for the just for the joke of it. Yeah, and I see a wasp nest up there. Oh. I was trying. Okay, yeah, I should have realized those rocks would have blocked it, but I see a wasp nest behind that guy in the tree. Uh, but yeah, we can put this game on the list, but for solo play, and probably just on sun uh, Saturdays as well, just for screwing around. Yeah. Seriously, what the hell is this? Well, those are birds, my friend. Well, they're electric birds, apparently. Uh, okay. Let's go to the main menu, and then we'll move on to the last game that we have set up for today. 
And this is why people are usually nervous when healing they have any machines, flamethrowers, or some sort of or magic. This game I know practically nothing about. I think I got it on sale at, like many of the games I got on sale. Let's see, barely visible. Yeah, no other way. Um let's go with this. It, it's it's barely visible at all points. It doesn't get hidden for me. Now, let's see. Video. Let's, uh, let, let's leave it at that and see how it goes. Yeah, I know nothing about this game. So yeah, you have it, you have it from the looks of it. I know it. And let's just see what the hell happens. Never hesitate to use the tactics menu when in combat. Okay. I found myself up to my neck in the war before I knew it. Before I saw it coming. I was never much for politics. The rivalries between the water guilds was something that didn't concern me. I was a teenager, and I had my own set of problems. Thinking back, I was a pretty carefree kid living a good life. My friends and I got together to talk and do nothing most every night. And then one morning, the soldiers came to take me away, me and a lot of other guys from the neighborhood, to defend the guild. I think I was actually proud at first. They gave me a uniform and a gun. And then I understood. Up close, war doesn't make you a hero. It makes you tired. It's nothing more than bloody marches. Blistering days, men stacked up against each other in sweaty trenches, stinking, covered in lice. So exhausted we can't sleep, shaking from the thought of what the next night will bring. The night, infernal marches, tramping through blood and shit. Herded like cattle by overzealous officers, sending wave after wave of idiots like me, off to get butchered, screaming at us like it was all our fault. Stupid kids who shit themselves at the first sight of a blade, and cried like babies when ordered back to the front. It could have gone on like that until I ended up face down in the dirt, but I was one of the lucky ones, captured and stuck in a wagon full of guys I barely knew. They rounded us up and tossed us in a cattle car, packed in like mutants, and sent us far away behind enemy lines. I don't know if it's night or day. I completely lost track of time. Nothing really mattered to me anymore. You are now in Camp 19. If you watch your step, we will get along just fine. Prisoners to Camp 19. Get off the train and stand in line. They shoved us out, lined us up, and welcomed us to our new home. You're about to meet the sand pit. I want every one of you clean within the hour. You will then be taken to the registration office. 
You will inform them of what you know how to do, and you will be assigned a post and a bunk. Now, get going. Fall out. A new day. At least we got a chance to clean ourselves up, even if all we had was sand. Get a load of these fillers. Fresh meat. Oh. Uh, it just makes my day. I was getting tired of drilling the same old asses. Hey, you're not bad looking either. Get out. <gasps> yeah, you got a new pretty mouth. <laughs> Your tongue. What are you, special? Is that it? Huh? You a nutcase. Maybe you get off watching. Go take a seat. After all, this is the only entertainment you'll get in here. <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? Don't stop yakking, will ya? Spit it out, you got something to say. What's that? Speak up. Nobody can understand your squeaking boy. We want to find you, we will. This place ain't big enough to hide from us. You crazy. You need to be put down. Uh, huh. Are you insane? You looking for pain? You mental? Fucked in the head? Nah, nah, I don't need this. You're already dead. Sick fuck. Just think about what you're gonna do to this poor bitch. Brings a tear to my eye. I, I just can't watch. I'm sensitive. Forget it, guys. This cunt's not normal. I don't want to catch what he's got. Hey, uh, thanks. Thanks for the help. Oh, wait, we're this guy? We're... Mid's history. Forget it. I wasn't gonna just stand here and watch him. How are you doing? Better. It's weird. I, I feel better than I have in a while. Thanks again. I was pretty sure we were going to end up playing as this kid here. Insane. Hmm. You shouldn't be so eager to thank a guy you barely know. Now, if you don't mind, let's get the fuck out of here. This place stinks. I'm good. I'll follow you. So, yeah, we're on Mars and there's some sort of war going on between water guilds. And, uh, yeah, since it's well Mars... Yeah, the showers work with sand, apparently. Innocence has joined. Well, yes. I have heard of... Come on, let's go. I have heard of uh, sand baths, but... Usually, I think just birds that do sand baths. And chinchillas, I think. Their, their fur is very heavy retained, so ba basically if you drop water on them, it's not coming out again. Oh. So yeah, those yeah. need to be washed with sand, very fine sand, I think. So yeah. Some... yeah, I think they do it to get rid of parasites and such. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, I was expecting just it. I was expecting it to jump us immediately into a combat there. Same. Oh shit! This stuff is finished. I'll never be able to fix it here, and they'll never change it. Ah, oh, fuck me! Hey, hey, I'm working. I'm not here to shoot the shit. You just seem to be spinning your wheels, is all. Shit! This camp's a ruin. I don't have what I need to repair the thermal conductors or the sand pump, and I need something to tighten these bolts. And of course, my wrench is broken. I'm keeping busy though. I can always unblock the sand extractor. I'm not too busy just now. Can I give you a hand? Looking for something in exchange, I guess. <laughs> If you can dig up some parts and a wrench, I'll be grateful. But I already took everything in the stock, and I got no idea where to look now. What exactly do you need? I need two resistors, three bits of sheet metal, and a number nine wrench. I'll get that for you. If you can do that, man, pretty much a wasteland equipment-wise round here. <laughs> Why help the mechanic? I mean, even if he seems all right, he's still an enemy. Yeah, true. But I think it could be useful for us to get on his good side. He could give us equipment or serum. What is serum? Is that a currency here? Uh, yeah, we're in we're in a war prison, so we should be careful with uh, who we deal with. And there's Fatso again, I see. Yeah, his name uh, was they, on the they, screen. They mentioned uh, something about mutants earlier. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting combat here. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Did you have fun? I hope she's still wet. Cause I'm gonna ride her hard. I've been waiting for you. Me and the guys decided that we didn't appreciate your attitude. You may be crazy, but even if you're too fucked up to know when to open your mouth, we decided we'll we show you how to close it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Time to teach you some manners, darling. Live and learn. Where the hell did you pull that from? Is that a grenade? No. Nope. Okay, neutralized fat strings again, but uh, you know, typical uh, cowards. Act all tough, but will run when confronted to get their friends. Okay. Yeah, like, kick and break. I think like if I was in the position. Defending boy, I I think I already would be going to be certain of ripping apart. Is this guy is literally called a wreck to side? Uh. Okay, block their own attacks, immediately strike back. Simple enough tutorial. Rectitude. Nope, he's coming in to help now. Make certain that he stays alive. I can't tell if this guy was on the train with us or not. He was not. Who the hell are we? Hey there! Stop that right now, you worms! You looking to get roasted or what? Take these wrecks to the infirmary. They nearly got killed. Abundance soldier. Hmm. It's the same thing. Every time we get new arrivals, always gets them excited. Some days I wish I was at the front. You, you... You could have killed them. What do you think those bastards would have done to us if it had been our faces buried in the sand? You gotta do what it takes. By the way, the name is Roy. And yours? My name's Innocence. Roy? Aren't you from Aurora? Afraid so. They called me Temperance back then, but I chose Roy. Those virtue names aren't really my thing. Oh, okay. 
I guess temperance doesn't fit. Well, he tempered their faces with whatever the hell it was that we pulled out. Okay. You look a little out of your element, kid. How'd you end up here? The war, I guess. Just like everyone else. And I do belong here. I I've done some things. I know how to defend myself. It's just that it's taken me a while to get my feet back under me. Well then, now that I see you can walk, I might have something you can do for me. Not as your... your bitch, right? Why? You applying? As a matter of fact, I was hoping you could help me get out of here. Alone? It's impossible, but two of us... Yeah, let's go to the mess hall. We need to find a place where we can talk. Okay, I'm right behind you. Huh? Oh, experience gate. For a moment I thought, uh... <laughs> when did he become a Twilight Vampire? Uh, yeah, I was wondering what the heck was going on. So, I'm guessing at the very least the first part of this game is going to be a prison break? Hmm. And, uh... Do you ever even blink, kid? I don't think I've seen him blink once. Yeah, I think I've only seen him blink in cutscenes, but that's it. Yeah. The texture work is a bit uh, on and off. I, at some parts it didn't look like uh, things were loading in properly. And we've... Oh, we've leveled up, it seems. Whatever here. And... Uh, hello, doggy, dog thing. Hey, Roy, just wanted to tell you, everyone's talking about how you took out the fat guy. He was embarrassing the entire Aurora army. Here, take this. A little thank you. Huh, thanks. A cracked tube. <laughs> okay, it's something. Uh, inventory, equip boy with an item. Okay. So it's looking a bit like the, uh, yeah, other, so it's looking a bit like a, your standard little RPG set in Mars. I didn't mean to click way there. Let's like an see. RPG version of Mars and Mad Max. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's literally called improvised weapon. That What the hell is that? It looks like some sort of pressure valve or yeah, pressure think... thing. I feel like be. if you gave that a longer handle, it would be a very good maze. Yeah. Maybe there's crafting later on. For now, we have torn prison out uniform. Minus 13 damage. What do we have win skills? Okay, it's a skill web. Renegades. Technomancy. And combat. And each of these have their own skill sets or skill points. Currently cannot spend skill points in this way. Well, that is a, a spoiler that we're getting whatever technomancy is. Hmm. I'll save those points for now. Okay. We have Abundance, which is probably a, one of the water guilds. And What's Aurora. That okay. Find parts needed. It looks a bit like the Mass Effect uh, dog things that the Krogans have. Yep. It looks kind of like it's evolved from a amphibian. Hmm. Let's see. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? I'm thinking, damn it. You mean you're sleeping? What? This ain't bridge with your grandma, remember? Get it together. Huh? All right. I call. Yeah, okay. All right. Ah! You call, all right? Your mama, full houses, but aces in your face. Shit. Shit, you're <laughs> lucky today, man. I don't believe it. Show me the cash, man. One more. You're <laughs> not even having uh, cars. Shit. I don't know. Man, you're okay. Really yeah, this is, this is clearly not a triple A game, but it, so far it seems good enough. Yeah. Interesting as well. Let's see. And I'm stuck with that ammo. Sure, maybe not on fever, but it looks like it's evolved for something aquatic, like a lobster or fish. Yeah. Let's see. Some hardware. Actually, I can, I, can I talk to the guy that had the ammo? 
Yeah, let's go check, yeah. Yeah, but I'm... I really want to know what the heck that is. Hey, you! If you're heading to the mess, make sure you watch your step. Don't even think about doing the same thing you did with Fatso. Nice of you to worry about me and all, but I think he learned his lesson. Cut the bullshit! I heard you were gonna kill him. He was looking for some action. He got what he was looking for. Get out of here and go blow it somewhere else. You hear? Go do some gardening. Do some hoeing. It'll do you good. Go do some gardening. That's a new one. But, uh... Okay. Uh... Uh, yeah, since it's pretty clear that this is a war prison slash labor camp, so they want to keep the prisoners alive to at least keep doing their work. Let's see, what have we here? Some cloth. Another one. More parts. Okay. Cistern, sand pit, mess, and crater. And what is with all of this fungal stuff going around? Let's see. J, first steps in prison. Mechanic, Bob. Who the hell is Bob? Hmm. And POW camp, of course. Um, hmm. yeah, let's, let's check the mess. It, this game is interesting more. It's not throwing us in the middle of things, which can be both a good and a bad thing, which is a thing I say about many things. Like one of our one of my favorite games, uh, is Beyond Good and Evil, shows you right into the, uh, into the middle of things. And there's another one of these things. Yeah, sometimes it's better to have a slow build up. Yep. It's all, it's all a matter of uh, preference and such. And yeah, I'm guessing that Aurora is another guild or maybe a settlement. Somewhere quiet. Here we are. It's not five star, but it's safe. No one fights in the mess. Now we can talk in private. What did you want to talk to me about? Keep your voice down. This is a sensitive matter. I'm planning on breaking out of here. It'll be tough doing it on my own. Probably impossible, but with what happened, I thought you might want to get out. I... This sounds like a dream. Do you have a plan? I do believe it. I thought I'd ask the manager of the soul to take us back home. What do you think? He's always in a bad mood, though. Abundance's technomancers don't seem much nicer than ours. The real question is... Are you ready to risk your ass for a ticket out of here? This is no place for me. After what nearly happened, I don't want to stay a minute longer than I have to. Good. You catch on fast. After a lot of thought, I figure there's only one viable solution. At least we don't want to fry. And that is? Steal the train that brings in the prisoners. Wow. Bold. You don't pull your punches, do you? You sure this place hasn't driven you a little crazy? I never claimed to be otherwise. Listen, if you're afraid, I won't stop you from hightailing it out of here. I'm good. Everything is crazy now anyway. So, what do I need to know? I want you to volunteer to work for the electric station in camp. You'll use the job to check out how they protect the train, everything about it. And once you get the info, with a little luck on my end, I'll have picked up some weapons. All that we'll have left to do is break in, knock out the electric barriers, and we're out of here. But we already have weapons, don't we? These toys aren't going to do much against armed guards. They got armor. We need guns, at least. And I've got a good idea how we're going to get them. Shit, guys! It's hitting the fan down there! Those abundance bastards sent some of our boys back in pieces again! Holy shit! Are they dead? What is going on, man? They're as good as... <laughs> Bet those assholes are gonna come back with their sign-up speech again. More food if you go down and do some cleaning. Yeah, except it's more food for those fucking bugs. Thanks, but I'll give it a miss. They can do their own cleaning. Perfect. This is exactly what I was hoping for. What? 
What are they talking about? The drilling well keeps getting overrun by moles. And because the grunts have better things to do than get rid of the vermin themselves, they send prisoners in with weapons to take them out. I'm gonna volunteer. Hmm. Owls? Bugs? Yeah, that's not... yeah. I'm not sure... many games and uh, stories have Mars having just absolute n network of caves and tunnels underneath. Not too sure about the truth of that, because yeah, all the exploration so far has been only on the surface. Hmm. The idea is to bluff them, to get them to believe that you're an electrical genius. Don't worry, I'm gonna back you up. Yeah, I was born with a light bulb hanging over my head. Didn't I tell you? Don't overdo it, or they'll take you for a technomancer. As long as you don't start farting sparks, it should work. But come on, let's go. I'm... Hmm. Hmm. Slow and steady so far. Like... We're not... We're only getting a little bit of this. But yeah, that, it I, is looking interesting to me. Yeah, I think they'll try to not overwhelm you and at least leave some uh, mystery. Yeah, health injection pack. Okay, that's probably for healing. But oh, sometimes yeah. it's good to give a lot of info early on, depending how much info you give them early on. And yeah, we saw that with Dark, where they just they threw just a full, full freaking novel at us at the start. Yeah. And what was those janitors that look, didn't look normal? Well, let's see, do we have anything on the map? We, it doesn't say what is the behind there. So, hmm. Could be the, yeah, probably emaciated or something. They, they probably don't treat you all too well in these POW camps. Let's see, great escape, first steps in prison, recruitment office. Okay, it points you to where you need to go with each of these. Who the heck is Jay? Well, I walked past him just now. Why? So you finally taught the fat guy a lesson, huh? Ha! <laughs> that fucking vermin, good one! Yeah, voice acting is a bit iffy here and there, but that's to be expected with, you know, games where you lead on not a, a lot of voice actors. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can't all uh, hire John Delancey and so... Uh, you can't... Yeah, you can't hire... Like a dozen John the Lances or such. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm putting this game on a maybe as well. Yeah, it might maybe. be good to do some research on it to see how long it is and uh, if it's generally good. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Mabel. Maybe plus. And is it, uh, Mad Max, if we can get it to work. And Warlogs, also maybe. Look into. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's been four games with about 30 minutes each. And yeah, I... We had a pretty good batch this time. Not uh, not gems or anything, but interesting. Yeah, not a curious uh, bunch. Yeah, pretty good for a half uh, year anniversary, I'd say. I didn't think about that. Half oh, year anniversary. <laughs> uh, yeah, 26 weeks in, 26 to go so until then. <laughs> See if we last that long. Probably will because yeah, we're we're mostly doing this for our own entertainment and for anyone who may just wander across all of this. Yeah, I hope we are entertaining enough. <laughs> yeah, and if not, then uh, yeah, everyone just runs off. Either way, though, anyone who has been watching now later on YouTube, thank you for watching, and thank you as as always, Trick here. Oh, you're most welcome, lad. And uh. Yeah, Tuesday we're continuing with Impossible Creatures. And yeah, next week we may be able to finish it. Hopefully. But as always, until then, 
Until then. Be safe, folks.